now baptize thee in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. No matter how deep into the gutter that you've fallen, it's not too late. Are you coming home, Jessica, to see Dad? Where the hell are you, Jesse? Atlanta. I finished my doctorate since the last time I saw you. What was that, like 10 years ago? Tariq, you look, um, tall. <laughs> That's what happens to kids when you haven't seen them in a long time, right? Daddy, you get some rest, I'll be back, okay? Oh, you promise? Pinky promise. My father needs me, I can't leave. I need you. My patrons need you. I believe it's time to pass the torch. I would like for us to install my daughter, Jessica, as the new pastor of Mount Olive. My dad wants me to take over for him. Have you forgotten that you give lap dances and take off your clothes for a living? That Jessica is unreliable, predictable, Underrated, unappreciated, and unpretentious. To come back and face your son, family, take over your father's church. I mean, that's courage if I've ever seen it. I have decided to honor my father's wishes, and I ask you as leaders of the church to please consider me. All we have to do is put her in front of the congregation for a vote. The committee will never approve you. You don't think they're gonna scrutinize every inch of your past? Jessica Brown cannot be pastor of this church. She's just not fit. I was thinking that we could donate the money to the woman's shelter on Juniper Street. Jessica, this is a closed meeting. Brothers and sisters of Mount Olive, this is Adrian Mitchell and her children. Once they realize who the real Jessica Brown is, they won't want her within 10 feet of that pulpit. He who comes to him will never hunger. I need you to tell the congregation the truth about your sister. Regardless of whatever decision you make, I'll be with you every step of the way.